Hello, Twin Minds here. Welcome back to Autonauts. I have labeled all of my various farms just for fun of it. And I may end up using those signs as well for my programming of the bots for recharging and whatnot. But I haven't decided on how I'm going to tackle that just yet. For right now, I'd like to tackle the rest of the farm setup. And that includes my tentative plan for the wheat farm here. I did decide to go vertical instead of horizontal to leave this space for some other plans I have going on over here and also the various critters that need to be moved. I have my central area set up here as best as I think I can for now. I'm going to figure out some sort of decoration options for around here. Maybe just plant some flowers because ultimately the bees are going to go here. So I'll be doing that as well, hopefully, if I remember. And then I have this little temporary thing set up here, but we'll cover that in a bit. Don't worry about that. So let's start with the farm because ultimately all I really need to do here now that I've kind of designed the layout is I just need to tell the bots to do things so let's get myself over here so when I hit the record button they don't go traipsing halfway across the map these are all of my various bots used for the wheat farm previously so I should be able to just reprogram them for the most part uh, let's see first I need Becky and I just need to reprogram you to this area here and that should be it uh, I do think I want to start reprogramming them to pick up their tools from the central section instead of all the way back at the uh, workshop so let's get rid of this bit and just tell her to go pick up a hoe from this box and that should be all she needs Nope, oh, she's still on the if-if instead of the if-else, but it's it's roughly the same concept. It's not that big of a deal. Maybe I'll convert that at some point, but it's one extra KB and she doesn't need the brain space, so she's fine. So she's going to start hoeing up all of the dirt. And then after that comes Seedy, who picks up seeds and then plants it. Again, just need to re-coordinate their areas. That should be it. Good. Working perfectly. Uh, then, now the thresher here. You'll notice that I have this threshing machine. I've decided to go that route because I believe the output is better than just using a regular old flail. Yeah, I'm going to need to change up his logic quite a bit. So we'll tackle him in a bit. In fact, I think I'm just going to clear him out for now. And he's just not going to do anything for the moment. Next up, we have Draw Man. Sure, we'll just reprogram you. Because you're just going to look for a straw to pick up. Should be easy enough. And then we've got Grain, or Gryan, depending on how I want to pronounce him. And he is also just going to be looking for stuff to pick up. Now, I just realized, though, that um, in, in my haste to reprogram the bots to do exactly what they were doing before, I realized that these two don't actually need to do that. Yeah, let's fix them quick. So instead, I'm going to grab a couple of these and manually thresh them. And then I'm also going to grab a couple and put them in the field so I can teach the other bot. So, thresher bot, your job is to pick up wheat in the general vicinity here, and then you dump it off into the threshing machine until your hands are empty and I think I'm gonna have him do that if the grains are not full I might I might do a second thresher specifically for the straw because uh, I, I think I want to have both of these boxes caught and full if possible but I'll probably tackle that at another time so you I need to pull off your yeah, he, he had a, a flail left over from his previous job, so now you should be able to go. And he's not going to go until there's room in the grain storage here. That should be fine. And then grain here. So you instead are going to grab cereal from here. And that should be all that's different. I might have even been able to get away with just changing his orientation, but... 
I wanted to make sure he's looking at the actual machine output and not just that area. Okay, so he's good. And then straw man here is gonna do the same. Pick up straw, go. All, right, all is well there, and then Reaper should be able to take care of this. I'm probably going to need another one. Grab your scythe from the box there. All right, he's gonna go do his thing. He was set up to work if the storage was full, specifically to clear out the field, so I gotta change that out again. There we go. Much better. Or we're not gonna dump a whole bunch of seed on the ground when we don't need to. All right, that is essentially the wheat field going. I'll probably have to fine tune it a little bit over time as I figure out how badly I messed up, but for right now, it's fine. All right, next up, I have the chickens over here, and I have the milkable animals over here, uh, the cows and the highland cows. The sheep and alpaca are gonna go elsewhere whenever I figure out where I want my tailor set up to go, because these guys are ultimately gonna move to make room for what's ultimately gonna be my kitchen here. Do need to move a couple other things as well, like these shouldn't be there. This is gonna have to move, but I don't wanna have to redo the wheelbarrow log filling at the moment, so that's fine. But this whole thing, I think I just can move that over here for now, until I figure out where else I wanna put it. And all of you guys, I'll just move them right in front for now until until I know what I'm doing with them. Now over here is ultimately going to be where my kitchen is and it's going to be pretty sizable because as you may previously remember um, everyone in Discord voted for me to tackle all of the food sources and not just one. So I'm going to need multiple different food chains going for that. This, this whole area here may not even be enough. I might have to expand upward or something. I don't know yet. But for right now a fairly sizable um, kitchen is going to be enough here. In fact, I need to expand that out further. <laughs> I, I have encroached into where I said I didn't want to go to, so let's move this quick. You can move up to there. And then the log loaders need to stop and come to me. Great. And then my wheelbarrows themselves, I will have to reprogram them to move to the new location of this thing. It'll be fine, I promise. So let me finish making this area here as big as I possibly can. And I'm probably going to need more walls and stuff. I didn't need more walls. Great. So let's do that there. That looks roughly even. Sure, let's go with that. So that's that's the overall template for the kitchen. We'll, we'll tackle filling that in a bit. For right now, though, I want to get all the animals up to here. That's gonna take me some time. So let me do that and I'll get back to you. All right, just about done here. The final chicken is on the way, screaming the whole time. Perfect. So now I have 10 chickens here, already making use of the hen house, which I decided to move out of the corner here and up here so that I can have a fence here with easier access to where the kitchen's gonna end up being. Same story over here, I moved the barn. Now these guys don't have any food yet, obviously. I have quite a few options for them. I think the easiest option right now is just to replant some grass in their territory so they have something to eat, but we can also feed them with hay bales. We can feed them with uh, carrot seeds. So if I start getting an overproduction of carrot seeds, I can start feeding them that. Uh, we can also feed them excess grain or straw if we need to. So there's plenty of options there, and I may end up using a few of those to supplement depending on how fast they end up eating because there are 20 freaking animals here. Now, I have this guy. He is currently uh, milking cows. I probably will leave him with the 10 cows. Uh, I could potentially have him also look for highland cows instead, or both. Uh, I'm not sure if he'll be able to keep up though. So I might end up doing both, but we'll see. For right now, I just need to reprogram him ever so slightly to look in a different area. That should do. And then also remove his bucket process and get a bucket from here instead. 
That should do. Carry on. Now he's not going to go anywhere until these cows have milking requirements, so let's see if we can get them uh, a little bit of grass fed here. Uh, so let's grab my digger bot. I mean, really need to rename him. You're my digger. There we go. And he's already set to turf, so I just need to reprogram his area. And let's just have it three by nine for now. Get started on that. And we'll uh, we'll let him do his work. I am going to continue picking up after him though. And we'll probably time lapse this. just about done here. It is clearly not enough grass though because we've got 27 plots of grass and it's just it's just not quite enough. Now there is a, a bit of wiki information on this and it says a single tile of grass should be able to handle a single penned creature. That being said I have 20 cows and that still doesn't seem to be enough so we're definitely going to need to supplement them a little bit here um, for right now it will do just fine but I'm gonna need to do more might extend out one more row here don't need to at the moment uh, I, one problem I'm noticing is that the grass does not seem to grow when there is poo on the field I think it waits for them to despawn before the grass can grow again so I'm gonna need the poop smith over here doing his job as well but if that box fills up which it is currently that's going to go back to having the same problem. So I don't know exactly how to deal with that just yet. I know an option is wherever I put that box, uh, the fertilizer storage, where we can take fertilizer or we can take poo and turn it into fertilizer. But again, if that fills up, can't do too much about that. So plenty of problems with this current setup that I'll have to figure out. I don't know the answer to that yet. Chickens, on the other hand, are easy. They just continue chickening, putting eggs, doing their thing. They got they got plenty of space to work with. They're happy as can be. I could potentially feed them with cereal as well, but they don't seem to need it. So I'm not going to bother until I find myself running low on eggs. Then I'll get more chickens, or I'll start feeding them better food. Now over here, let's actually get you back to work again. I'd like to clear all of that out, which means I shouldn't have moved this box away, but that's fine. It's essentially full anyway. So let me get another box. So over here is going to be the bees. Now I have beehives. I built these up a little bit ago. I just realized I'm moving them in the way of his work. That's fine. Let's fill them with bees. Because now that these are going to be filled with bees, then I will have more respawning on the map, and I will hopefully be able to harvest more of them if I need them. So those are now full of bees. Now there's no flowers for them, which is why I've got him working right now to clear up the space so we can till up the land and get more flowers uh, growing here. Now that ultimately means I need a tiller bot as well to clear out some of the space. So... Tiller bot. Hmm, this guy should be fine. He is currently my bot that is used for filling holes, but he should do just nicely for tilling as well. Let's get you over here so I just know where you're at and what you're doing. And then we'll just need to reteach you uh, most of these things. So grab a hoe, and then till some dirt. Go. So he's going to go get a hoe, and he's going to till up whatever is there. Now it's probably tilling just a bit too much because I have to put the beehive somewhere. But for right now, I don't know where that's going to be necessarily. Alright, he's done doing his thing. Let's see if we can figure out where we want the beehives to go. 
something like that for now. Maybe I'll do something a little bit more decorative later, but for right now that'll do just fine. And also, I need the barrel here. Now the barrel, I don't actually have a good spot for that, so I might just make the drop-off point inside the kitchen somewhere. That should do just fine. And then, I have a lot of flowers. I don't have many, and not a very good variety. I have essentially one of each of the different kinds, and I have a couple leftovers of the others. So let's grab a few and see if we can get these planted kind of scattered. Yeah, do something like that. I will most likely not be happy with it and completely fiddle with the flowers as many times as possible, but it's fine. The bees are gonna get to work and that's all that matters. Then we just need to get this guy over here. Uh, no, I can't really teach him. Stop. I can't really teach him until there's some honey to be had over here. So we'll, he'll he'll have to wait. I'll, I'll reteach him. Don't worry about it. He'll be fine, though. Now, the skeps, I don't think I need them anymore. They are literally half as productive as the beehives. So they are unfortunately just not necessary anymore. But they're just going to sit over here and do their thing. Probably like the poop smith was for ever. Who knows? So that is the cows, the chickens, and the bees in their new homes. Now, let's see about working on the kitchen a little bit as my other goal for today. As of right now, I have all of my other previous cooking attempts scattered over here, and then the one for the berry jam over here, which is currently not active because I tore everything else down. So all of that then needs to move into the kitchen. So we've got spiced berries being turned into stewed berries and then carrot salad being turned into carrot stir fry. So that means that these two can go somewhere next to this one. And I think that'll be an interesting method of doing it. So we'd have just kind of a line in a row upgrading to each various step. There's seven steps per food type for the most part with some variances. So I think this would be a nice way to tackle it. I don't know if I have enough space for all of that, especially if I'm going to do all, what is it, seven or eight different food types. We've got apples, berries, uh, mushrooms. Weeds don't factor into that. Carrots, pumpkins, wheat, which turns into two different varieties, porridge and breads. And there's some weird oddities that go on there. I'm not quite clear on all the details of those production chains just yet. And then we also have fish, which I haven't even had a chance to touch yet. I mean, I did, because I went fishing very briefly. But don't worry about that. That was just me trying to figure out what the heck I was going to do. So I have a couple boxes of fish, but it's fine. So that leaves me with potentially eight different food production chains, if not more or a little bit less, depending on how that all shakes out. So we have, a, we have a big complicated food mess to take care of. So my kitchen may end up extending quite a bit. Might be the biggest structure that I've got in the end. We'll figure it out. So these three need to be done. I don't quite remember what all of my various bots were doing. So let's see if we can sort those out. Chef Barry, what were you doing, sir? You were getting weeds, berries. Okay, so you should be good to go. God, he's gonna swim across the lake to get there. What a what a trooper. Dedicated to his craft, I say. So he's gonna go get weeds and berries, and then he's gonna take them back to the pot. I'll I'll have him on watch. He's not set to stop at any time, he's just set to watch for full berry storage. So he's not gonna work unless there's excess berries to work with. So that'll be fine for now. Assuming I've got him going to the right place. Good, he's doing his thing. Next up, he was dedicated to filling the pot with water, I believe. So that'll be fine, I suppose. Where's the rest of my chefs? Did I repurpose them and not remember it? That's entirely possible. Once one bot located, he was set to move the stewed berries back and forth. Uh, another bot located to do the honey transport. 
let's get you back here. You were filling with fuel, so yep, you can come over here and do your thing as well. I, I have no idea where some of my bots ended up, but that's fine. Now we can move the carrots. These are all going to get moved at some point, I'm sure, just because I don't... I, I need better spacing, I'm sure. So other chefs can come back over here. Alright, so Chef Rod here was working on the carrot salad, so you can just go, I believe. Chef Fry was working on the carrot stir-fry, so you should also be safe to go. Uh, I do need to move this somewhere. Hmm. I sent him off that direction, and he's just going to go there and find out that there's no clay pots for him to pick up. Hmm. Sorry, guy. That's fine. He figured it out. He's the smart cookie. What else do we have going on here? Where's all my bots? Uh, here's one of them. Transport berry. You were responsible for the majority of the spice berries, so carry on. There we go. Well, that should be the bots for the most part back to the way they were cooking wise. But that's not quite enough. I want to do something new, and I haven't done any of it yet, which means I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's do some bread. It'll be the basic bread, and I won't actually be able to use it because it'll be too low of a tier for my colonists over here, who, by the way, have a couple new houses to work with, but that's fine. But it'll at least be the beginnings of making bread, and that's going to require the crude oven and the current over here, plus probably the kitchen table. So let's move all of that into the kitchen. I can already tell this kitchen is way too small, but let's see what we need to make some bread. To make some crude bread, we need crude flour and crude dough. Crude flour comes from the kern, which is just cereal seed ground up. And then crude dough comes from watery porridge and crude flour. Watery porridge, I think, is a cooking item. So I think I need to get another mixing pot built up here. And that is watery porridge, yes. Yeah. So that's just some cereal seed mixed with some water in a pot. So let's start there, because I need that first. Cereal seed, fresh water, clay pot. I can do that. New bot. So first off, get yourself a clay pot. And backpack that. And then get two cereal seeds. And then drop that in the pot. Retrieve. And pot. Okay. So now we can logic all that. There we go. That should do it. That should be moved to get a pot. Go get some cereal. Come back, throw it all into the pot. That's done. And then we need a water bot as well. Now the one thing that I'm considering is that there's a few different things in the kitchen that will need water filling, but they won't need them too terribly often, so I might be able to have one bot taking care of multiple of them. For right now, though, I think a dedicated bot is just fine. So we'll take you, uh, come down here, get yourself a bucket, and of course that's if your hands are full. Uh, sorry, if your hands are empty, get a bucket, and then with that bucket in hand, go get some water. Uh, the closest fresh water will be up here, and I have some thoughts on how to tackle that, but for right now, that's all I need. And then dump that in here, and I believe that needs to be done twice. Now, since this bucket is three and not two, that's going to leave with one spare, but the logic behind that I think would be too difficult. Because I can't just do until bucket is empty. Uh, I can't do repeat twice because there's always going to be that one remainder. So I think the easiest answer would be do it twice and then go fill up. That'll be the easiest method. You're just going to waste a little bit of extra time not using that one free piece of water. But it should be fine. And that should just be a repeat forever. Just always keep that thing full of water. And go. There. And we have some watery porridge. Fresh bot. Now we need... <laughs> saw the giant tower scooting by. That's fine. Um, so now we need two watery porridge and two crude flour, which means I think I need to do the crude flour first. Yep. Okay, so crude flour is going to be a little bit easier. So let's record. Go get some seed. I'm going to pick up two, but he can do as many as he'd like. Because he's got six spots in his hand. Two cereal seed to make one flour. He's going to do until his hands are full, so he's going to grab six, turn it into three, should be fine. Alright, so now that we've got flour incoming, 
we should be able to make dough. Another bot. There we go. So that gives me crude dough and crude flour, which is what I need for the bread. One more bot, please. So this one is one crude flour and two crude dough. Pick up crude flour, pick up crude dough twice, and then drop it off, and then retrieve and dump. Do all of that if your output is empty. And before I tell him to go, I'm gonna finish cooking that one myself. Oh, and it looks like we need a fuel bot to fuel all of these. I should be able to reuse a fuel bot from this other process over here. Where did I put him? Looks like I might need another fuel bot here. That's fine. All right, pick yourself up a log and fuel this thing. Easy enough. Now we have a giant crude bread. It's only a tier three though. So it's again, not gonna be as useful, but we can level that up a little bit over time as I expand my processes here. But this is the basics of my kitchen. It's not fancy, but it'll do for now. Seems to be my motto now that I think about it. But it's fine, we've made some progress. The animals are happy, the bees are happy. I'm gonna keep filling up the bees with additional flowers. I just gotta keep manually scything these and get more seeds so I can replant them. It's gonna take some time. I'll do it off camera, it's fine. And my wheat is going. I do need to get some bots in here charging, but I need to do that for the entire farm setup here because I've got plenty of dead bots. So I'll need to set up probably about six or seven different bots here. I'm gonna do away with the roamers for the moment and have some static charging bots set up in here. Very much how I have these guys set up um, taking care of the workshop. I just need to have a little bit of extra redundancy because these guys run out occasionally. I have to manually charge them. So I'll do that and I'll have those guys set up in the off time because it's not too terribly exciting work programming recharging bots over and over again. But yeah, I'm excited. My, my animals now have a new home. They're all happy doing their thing and my kitchen has begun. I think that'll be it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.